Let's draw a puppy today. Let's begin with an oval. We want to make sure we draw lightly. That way if we have to erase any lines, we can go ahead and erase any lines. So this is the shape of the head. This puppy will be laying down. Next, let's go ahead and draw in the nose. We're going to draw in another oval shape. Let's draw in the ears. At this point, it might look like a pig, and we could turn this into a pig if we wanted to, but we're going to draw we're going to turn this into a puppy. Cuz every animal that we draw is made up of basic shapes. Now that we have the muzzle part of the nose drawn, let's bring in the nose itself. All right? This dog needs to breathe and dogs love to sniff everything around, so we want to make sure we put in that nose, right? And then we need to put in little holes for our puppy to breathe. Poor thing, he needs to breathe. I'm going to make a curve line here and I'm going to shade around the nostrils and I'm going to darken a little bit of the inside of the nostril. I'm going to leave just a little bit of white right around the nostril to highlight the holes of the nostril. That way there's an indication that this puppy has holes to breathe. Okay, let's bring in the eyes. We'll bring in one eye right here. Very lightly there's a circle there and we'll bring another circle right here. I think the challenge is trying to get your eyes the same size. We're going to draw in the dark part of the eye. Now we want to leave a little bit of white at the bottom of the this part of the eye. That way we can that way the puppy looks like it is looking up at you. And we're going to bring in some highlights, those little circles there, and bring in two little circles on this side, and we're going to shade in the eye. Same thing on this side. Shade in the eye. Above these eyes, there are little lighter areas of fur. So we're going to put them at the top there and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Just like that. And now we're, we're going to shape the bridge of the nose. So it comes down like this. And then same thing over here. And we're going to bring in some fur. Right? We've got to give the indication that this cute puppy has soft fur. That's what makes you want to pet these cute furry companions. I'm going to take this line here. I want to erase that line. We don't want that line there anymore. Off to the side here, right over here, we need to bring in fur on that side of the head. So when we do that, we want to bring in very loose sharp lines here. We'll also make them look very very soft. Same thing on this side. Just let your pencil do the work. Don't stress over too much about making every thing of the fur perfect. Inside the ears, typically inside the ears, they are furry. They have little hair, so we're going to make that look like their hair. That it has some fur on the inside of the ears. Yeah. This puppy's looking really, really good, I think. Alright, we'll come back to the head. Now let's go ahead and shape the part of the body. Now this puppy is laying down. He's looking up at you. He wants you to pet him. 
And we're going to go ahead and do the same thing over this side. This is the body part of the puppy, All right? The puppy's laying down facing you, so really you won't see much of the back side of the puppy. Let's bring in the paw, right? The paw is just an oval shape, see that? I'm going to draw in the oval shape there, and same thing on this side, just an oval shape. And we've got to bring in the little toes. I think they're called toes there on the end of the paw. And then over here, same thing on this side. And each of the toes of the paw are oval shapes. And we'll extend this behind the head. And let's give this furry companion a tail. We'll make it bushy. Looks pretty good. And then the body, we'll bring this, bring in the, bring in the fur of the body. And same thing on this side. It's looking pretty good, I think. Now, this puppy will have, uh, it's two tones, so, you know, it's going to have some dark fur and some light fur. So bring in the lines where the fur will be darker. And same with under the eyes. We don't, remember, we want to, re, to keep the white part of the eye visible. We don't want to cover that. And then we're going to shade in the fur part that is darker. And same thing on this side. And we're going to use the side of our pencil just like this. And we're going to shade in the head. You're doing a good job. I think this puppy is looking really cute and really, really good. Same thing on this side. And we'll shade in the nose, the, the muzzle of the puppy. Very good. And that's why we left a little bit of white on the top of this nose to separate it from all the dark fur. And then we're, let's shade in the body. Using the side of our pencil, it makes it much faster to shade in. We can cover a lot more area quicker. And let's shade in the tail. Yeah, looks really good. Now I'm going to refine these ears to make sure they're the same size. Here's one. Here's one. This one I think was a little bit longer. And we're going to put in some more fur inside the ears. And I want to shade a little bit of the ear and the inside of the ear just to give the illusion that less light is getting inside to give that more form. Right, give those ears a little bit more form. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this ear right here. Sometimes I, well, most of the time I make mistakes. I want to make sure it's more of a triangular shape. Yeah, 
just like that. Looking pretty good. Now underneath, we want to give an indication of environment. Maybe this puppy is outside in the grass. This puppy loves playing outside. And we'll put in a few details, a few little pebbles of stones and textures underneath his paw here, put in a shadow. Put in a shadow on this side as well. Let's put in a few small claws here. All right, they're not very long. And I'm I'm darkening my lines right now. Making sure everything stands out and everything's refined. Cuz I have a lot of sketch lines that I don't want in my drawing anymore. And up here, let's darken this tail in a little bit more. And I'd like to bring in a little bit of a shadow area here, just some lines to add more texture, just the side of our, my pencil, add a little bit more to it. I think our puppy looks really, really good. Outstanding job. Until next time, keep drawing and keep being great.